Hey, it's Zana, welcome back. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos here on my YouTube talking all about spirituality and relationships, emotional regulation, shadow work, and so, so much more. And for this video, I wanna talk about emotions today because as I've said a million times in so many videos that every time I go through something myself or I have like a little revelation about something I always make a note of it so that I can film it for you guys later on so I have a massive massively long list of video ideas of things that I want to talk about and in my life even up till now I still experience this obviously we all experience emotions but like I still I'm having to remind myself of the fact that it is perfectly okay and normal to feel emotions and we don't have to punish ourselves for it. It is not a bad thing. And even the fact that I always say the phrase triggered, I constantly say like, whenever I feel a negative emotion, I always say the word triggered as if it's a bad thing. And I'm realizing actually I need to reframe how I say that because it's not a bad thing. It's not a triggering. It's actually just like, feeling <laughs> it's literally just an emotion you know so like maybe i'll say sparked or activated or something along those lines whenever i talk about an emotion coming up for me and yeah i don't know i just feel like i word it in the like negative kind of way and our words have power so we're going to reframe that but anyway for this video I wanna talk about the fact that feeling our emotions is not only is it okay, but it is so normal that it is literally what makes us human. So I think it was Brother Panic that said in one of his videos about what is humanity or what is it that makes us human and that is our emotions and the fact that we feel emotions. And also when you think about it, we only feel a certain frequency level of emotion, like a spectrum in between certain frequencies. We feel those emotions, but there's probably so many more outside of that frequency range that we're not really able to tap into because we're in a human experience with the five senses and the chakras and like our physical bodies and everything. So I feel like there's a lot of limitation here as humans, but at the same time, the thing that makes us human is the fact that we can feel within this spectrum. Do you know what I mean? And I swear people say about how Earth is such a dense planet compared to other planets, like it's very heavy and our emotions can often feel very heavy. So it kind of makes sense that what we feel here is quite low and dense in the same stance as so is the planet. Do you know what I mean? Like as above, so below. So. Yeah, I just think something that I have always done for myself is to punish myself for feeling emotions, especially negative ones, sometimes even pos positive ones to be fair. But a lot of the time it's whenever I'm feeling something negative and like uncertain and stuff like that. And I feel like it's almost an attack, like an outside attack, like they've caused me to feel that way, you know? But it's something that we can actually process and utilize and harness for ourselves because it's an internal thing. Like you can control the way that you react. You can't control what the external world chooses to do. Do you know what I mean? So there's no need to punish ourselves for feeling any type of emotion at all. There's enough punishment, there's enough craziness going on in this world. We don't need to do it to ourselves too. And I feel like when you're on this journey as well of doing your inner work and also trying to create the life that you want, a lot of emotion can come up. <laughs> like you can be a lot more aware of the types of emotions that are coming up because you're actually paying attention to your thoughts and to your body and the sensations moving through your body. So it's not necessarily that you feel more, it's just that you're aware more of what you're thinking and what you're feeling. And sometimes that awareness can be quite overwhelming especially if you're not grounded in your body and especially if you've been through a lot of trauma and a lot of toxic situations or if you're still in toxic situations, you know, it can be quite overwhelming to navigate and have such a heightened level of awareness and then still need to nav navigate it, you know? So yeah, I just think we kind of need to go a bit easier on ourselves, a bit, be a bit more kind to ourselves and just let us breathe because there's going to be a lot of 
triggering there's going to be a lot of emotion that comes up there's going to be a lot of sadness a lot of pain if you're delving into childhood trauma if you're doing parts work and inner work and inner child healing you know and then if you're trying to change your belief system around so many things that don't serve you anymore to get to the root of those things and figure out where they stem from and why you have them and all of that stuff and then to actively in your daily life try and shift it (laughs) and have that awareness to be able to shift it can be overwhelming and like it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort so punishing ourselves on top of that is just so counterproductive and also like you're punishing yourself for being human you know like and this is me talking to myself too because I've done it so many times like you're punishing yourself literally for being flawed for being who you are for being human for feeling you know and feeling is what everybody does literally everybody feels something do you know what I mean and it's only through certain traumatic situations that we get in the habit of suppressing that and trying to shut it out because we can't handle it and we want to be able to survive and do whatever it is that we have to do to function in our daily life so then we just kind of push the emotions away so that we don't have to feel it because feeling it is very uncomfortable and quite difficult to navigate sometimes depending on what it is that's coming up and how often it comes up for you as well so yeah It's just not something that we need to punish ourselves for and to also understand and realise and accept the fact that you're going to feel things and that that's okay, you know, even if it's shame, even if it's guilt, even if you messed up in certain situations, like even if it's whatever it is that comes up for you is perfectly okay and perfectly normal and it's actually okay if it takes you a while to learn how to move that emotion because obviously emotions are energy in motion so they are moving but oftentimes we kind of block them and let them get stuck and trapped in our energy field and when you're trying to learn the tools because most people were not taught the tools as children so when you're trying to teach yourself and figure out how to regulate them in a healthy way that can take practice I mean it does take practice but that can also take time so imagine if it takes you a few years to figure out and get in the proper like healthy practice of it but then you punish yourself that whole time how you're going to feel and how much more negative emotion is going to come up because you're punishing yourself on top of feeling whatever you feel about your circumstances in the first place. You know what I mean? It's like we pile more emotion on top of what we already feel because we're like shaming ourselves for feeling in the first place. But if we actually allowed ourselves to feel that anger or to feel that sadness or whatever it is that comes up in the first place, if we allow ourselves to feel that without piling on the shame or the guilt and punishment and stuff, if we were allowed to feel that, then it would be able to move a lot easier and it would release gradually. I don't know if you've noticed, but whenever I get upset about something, if I start crying or something, those tears only last for so long. Like some crying sessions might be way longer than another, but they're never for forever. You know, they're never for the entire day. Sometimes I might cry throughout the day, but like it stops in between because I don't know why, like I don't know the science behind that, but like it doesn't continue for the entire day non-stop. That just is not something I've ever been able to do before. So I feel like that is a perfect example of how when you let yourself cry, eventually you reach a point where you stop even if you start again in 10 minutes time there's still a pause in there and I feel like it's the same with anger or with frustration or the same with anxiety or whatever it is when you let yourself feel it eventually you reach a point where it's released even if it then comes up again later you keep doing the same practice of helping it release by being present with it without punishment and you'll get in the habit of being able to do that with every emotion that comes up and it will be so much easier and so much faster to actually regulate it. This is something I'm learning for myself and finally putting into practice emotional regulation and I'm experiencing the game-changing benefits, let me tell you. Like, I'm going to film a full video on how I do it and stuff because... I'm literally only just starting to learn it, to be fair. But it's just so 
like I'm already really noticing the shift in myself and the fact that I'm instead of being like sad for a few days or angry for a few days I'm able to shift it within a few hours which is a huge huge change for me and not something that I ever thought was possible before and now it's happening so yeah it is so possible but we have to release the punishment because it is not wrong to feel it doesn't matter what that feeling is it is not wrong so yeah i hope this video was helpful thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate you i hope you're having the best week and don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to everything about me my music my handmade crystal jewelry um my social media just everything about me and my phone number because i do send weekly inspirational messages and yeah i will see you in the next video bye Becoming, yeah, my heart